It is the California hurricane day, today and tomorrow apparently. And it started raining early, early morning. Uh, and it's been raining since. It's a nice cozy day, getting me all prepped for fall, which I'm just thriving. We have candles lit, having a nice hot cup of coffee. We had breakfast this morning that actually was delicious. And I want to kind of have a bit of a Sunday reset today, like a cozy, stormy Sunday reset. I want to keep it really simple, not going to be very cleaning based, but more like getting some baking done and being in the kitchen and cooking and reading maybe today. I finished Archer's Voice yesterday, really good book, I enjoyed it. Uh, I finished it in one day. <laughs> I started it yesterday and finished it yesterday because <laughs> I have problems. It was really good. So I have a few. I never showed you guys a book haul. I picked up about four books a few days ago. And so uh, Archer's Voice was one of them. So that one's finished. So I have three. I have actually a few books over there um, that I can dig into. I have one more, I think I only have one or two more summer reads that I would like to get through before the summer's over. And then I did pick up a thriller to enter into like the fall vibes. And yeah, I'm really excited for uh, reading this fall. Honestly, I'm ready for the cozy reading days. Like, I'm just so excited about it. So yes, Sunday Reset, I did want to share because on Friday, when it was nice and bright and hot, we went out to Snowline Orchard for some raspberry picking. They invited us out and we had a good time, a lot of fun, lots of bees. But I want to share kind of like a mini vlog within the vlog of us going to Snowline Orchard. So I'm going to insert that now. Happy Friday, guys. It is August. Hi. It's the 18th. <laughs> it is Friday morning. It is 9.20. And we are headed to go raspberry picking today. I'm really excited. This farm out in Glen Oak, which is out towards where we used to live, out a little bit past Ukaipa, California, is announcing raspberry season. They announced it yesterday, I believe. And I'm so excited. So they invited me and the fam out to go pick some raspberries. We kind of have a <clears throat> long standing, not long, but uh, ongoing relationship with Welcome this farm really really like them and so I'm excited to spend the day out there today we're running out of time we need to clean up I still need to vacuum there's stuff everywhere from her tracking food around and it's just a hot mess so we're gonna get into that get dressed and then we're gonna bring you guys along for Daddy, a day of raspberry picking. cheers <laughs>
a lot of fun. It was nice to just have, um, you know, my sister and her husband and the kids. And we went to dinner afterwards and we saw a bear. I'll insert that as well. And we just had, I don't know, it was just a nice time out with the kids and families. And I've been wanting to do that more, just like getting my friends and family and the kids together more often. And so we had a good time. But today is a whole new day. I did not vlog at all yesterday just because, like I said, I kind of spent the day relaxing. It was such a hot day on Friday and we're out in the sun pretty much the whole day. And it was very draining. And so yesterday I wanted to just spend the day just relaxing and getting some reading done, which is exactly what I did. So welcome to the Sunday Reset, the stormy, cozy Sunday Reset vlog. And I hope you guys enjoy. Cheers. I do need to clean out this refrigerator because I can't fit anything in there and it's driving me absolutely insane. Okay, so here's the before of the fridge. Like, there's just too much stuff in here because we did a pretty large grocery haul on Wednesday. And so it's just, it's just, it's just filled. And so I just want to kind of take out things, put them in smaller containers. Just get things a bit more organized in here and just clean it out because it's, I can't. finished cleaning out the fridge now I don't know how different it looks to y'all but it's different <laughs> so I kind of cleared put all the fruit at the top there eggs I kind of adjusted my things as well because it was too short um, this is our egg container but I always have like the extra eggs in this basket so that's there this is chicken I'm gonna make him for dinner tonight so that's why that's there um, and yeah, so it's just looking more organized. I have my sprouted beans and rice here that um, I just finished sprouting yesterday. So we're gonna get ready to cook that. I also made some pickles the other day and they're so delicious. But this one over here is begging for some. <laughs> but yeah, so fridge is cleaned out. I'm gonna do some pickling. I'm gonna pickle some garlic. I got this garlic from Costco and I got this big thing of ginger from Costco and Wait, I'm just gonna do a little dinner? no baby that's not no yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and pickle that and I might do some canning as well I never shared with you guys but my canning stuff came I have it all the way up there so I might pull that out and do a little bit of uh, canning as well so that is what we have going on next so let's see how this goes
So we have our garlic and ginger here just kind of sealing, cooling. I always do it upside, you know, right side up first and then flip it upside down and it helps to seal it. Um, I decided to just not even do the whole canning situation because I really want to try this out for now and it's going to be refrigerated. It lasts a couple months and I actually want to try and get in the habit of having um, garlic every day. And it's supposed to be really good for your immune system, your digestive system, your skin. So I really want to just try that out so that shouldn't last too long. And then I've never done or tasted pickled garlic and I'm a little nervous about it. So I didn't want to do too much. Plus it's very like a tedious process <laughs> for the ginger. We're just going to do with what we got for that. But right now I am really excited about dinner. I have been on a Greek kick. For some, like it's just so good. The flavors of olives and feta and juicy cherry tomatoes is just so good. And I've been obsessed. And I actually made Greek meatballs uh, with rice and all this kind of stuff and um, tzatziki. Tzatziki, what? Um, a couple days ago, and I still have some tzatziki left. So I was like, you know what? Let's do something different. So. I have some bone-in skin on chicken thighs and then I have some Yukon potatoes. I am going to do chicken potatoes, chicken potatoes. potatoes but Greek style so I'm going to have chicken the tzatziki and, and feta over the chicken and the potatoes. I'm going to make like a nice little salad on the side with spinach and tomatoes and olives and probably do a quick like olive lemon dressing to go over it. and. I'm just kind of like really excited about it. And then I also have some freezing their tortillas, but you know, same vibe as like non. Um, I have some frozen tortillas in the freezer and I was thinking maybe that would be nice to like kind of scoop up everything together. And I'm excited. It just all started coming together. I was like, what am I gonna make for dinner? I knew I was gonna make chicken, but that was the extent of my research for dinner. So I'm very excited to have figure that out and we're going to give it a try and see how it comes out and I'm excited so let's get to cooking it's almost five o'clock so I want to get that going I still need to work out vacuum and mop and take a shower so <laughs> salad on the side, chicken, tzatziki sauce all over, and I'm ready to devour this. I'm starving. Hey guys, so I just got out of the shower. Dinner was absolutely delicious. I'm so glad that that idea just came into my head. My camera's gonna die, so I'm trying to end this out quickly. It's probably, but um, I just want to say thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this Sunday reset where we just kind of did a lot of stuff in the kitchen. Um, I'm still just very happy about that dinner. It was so good. It was so good. You guys have to try it. Maybe I'll try to put some details down in the, the description box because it was something I just kind of threw together, but we all enjoyed it. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe down below if you're new. Follow me on Instagram and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.
just you and I. Oh.